So before we begin, I want to be very clear. This product will get the lowest score I have ever given anything. And if you're wondering, Jakey, you're just being jealous and a hater. Glove edges, people, just listen, 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 listen. Listen. Throughout the video, I'm going to explain exactly why the Guava Toy Bath Bomb box is not worth your money. As I'm browsing on Target, I'm of course looking for, you know, new craft kits to review, and the Guava Toys Bath Bomb was suggested to me. Of course, I was under the section of toys. So when I saw the box, I was like, yup. Aunt needs me a bath bomb kit. So naturally, I picked it up. However, fast forward a few weeks later, and here it is. So what you need to know, and you need to be very careful of, is that this box is full of deception. And I don't know if it's on purpose, and for $40 Canadian, you might want to avoid it. To me, this product is as deceptive as Guava Juice's video, 24 hours in 10 thousand bath bombs. Don't get me wrong, a lot of us here on YouTube use hyperbole as humor or just to kind of get people interested, but in no way is this actually mentioned to be an exaggeration that is not supposed to be taken literally. Because even in the description it says I spent 24 hours in 10,000 bath bombs. Let's take two minutes to do a little bit of math. I say I like me some calculations. In the video, Roy says that he has 10,000 bath bombs. I'm going to be spending 24 hours in my bathtub with 10,000 bath bombs. You know how it goes, we gotta keep pouring 10,000 of these. Once he empties all of them, we see all 10 buckets on the ground. Which means that if he's using 10,000 bath bombs, each bucket should have 1,000 bath bombs inside it. We're talking about each one of these buckets has 1,000 of them. Now, I don't have 10,000 bath bombs, but I made some makeshift balls out of newspaper and filled it to the brim exactly as he had in his own video. Do you guys want to know exactly how many of these balls are inside? 34, which means if we multiply it times 10, there's 340 bath bombs maximum. Let's say give or take 100, just because I'm feeling generous. That is nowhere even near, not even 500 bath bombs. And you know what? This product is equally as deceptive. I haven't even opened this box and I am already so, 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 so salty. You, you better have brought either water or chocolate because even the level of salt for me, medium, medium for me. It'll be extra salty for you. Here's one of the first reasons you need to know why I'm extra salty. Let's take a look at Target. The actual title for this product is Guava Toys Bath Bombs 12 Pack Activity Kit. The first thing that comes to mind when you look at the word toys and activity kit, this bucket is an activity and a toy. However, that's not what you're getting. What you're getting is pretty much a box of bath bombs. I paid $40 for 12 bath bombs bombs. If you're in the US, that is about $30. Is that worth your money? The other thing that's misleading on the box is right here. If you can see clearly, it says playtime is epic. What do you expect from a toy? Playtime. What do you expect from a activity kit? An activity, obviously. You're getting none of that. You're just getting bath bombs. Do not get tricked into buying this box because this was released way before he actually did release a bath bomb DIY kit. Now, is the actual content in there maybe worth $30? And I'm going to tell you right away, most likely not. I'm still, I'm still not going to open it. I'm building up the reasons why I am so ang- so ang- so, so angry. Let's look at the reviews very quickly. On Target itself, it has two and a half stars, in which half of these reviews talk about the actual bath bombs being an irritant for their kid's skin. Some people were even saying that the kid was screaming because their skin was hurting them. You don't want to risk that. And then the other half of the reviews are saying how this kit is deceptive because they bought it because their child is a fan of guava juice. However, when they bought this kit, they figured it wasn't a kit. It was just a bunch of bath bombs. All right, let's open it now. what you're getting in here. If that's not enough reason for me to say how deceptive the packaging is, let's take a look at another of Guava Juice's products that come in exactly 
the same kind of box. We have the DIY slime kit. So naturally when someone sees this box and then they see this box, what do you think automatically goes into their head? This is a kit. This is a kit. This is for slime. This is for bath bombs. But no, that's not it. I can tell you though that upon opening this box, yes, it does smell pretty fruity in there. So here's what we get inside. Three sour melon bath bombs, three chocolate pudding, three grape jelly, and three cookie scented. What I'm really curious is if these actually add any kind of effects into the water. Because if you're going to justify a price tag of $30 for bath bombs, I hope they do something interesting in the water. If we look at the lush ones, they have those amazing galaxy effects or the ones that kind of look futuristic. Let's go towards the tub. It's probably very echoing here, but what I did is I filled the tub just a little bit and we're gonna try each color individually. And I'm actually pretty curious to see if it'll irritate my skin because if it can irritate my skin, I have, I don't know, like dragon skin for some reason. I, I, I really don't get irritated by anything. Those of you with more sensitive skin, yeah, not for you. Another thing I want to point out is that this is pretty much the packaging it comes on the inside. Could it be any lazier? Just to show you, here are some packages I got from the dollar store of bath bombs. Strawberry scented, not only that, but it actually comes with a tiny toy on the inside. Citrus scented, also one dollar, and it comes with a toy on the inside. Another citrus scented, and again, you guessed it, a toy on the inside. The first one we're going to throw in is the grape one, and it just smells very vaguely of like grape juice. Not so much, just very vaguely. So it's been exactly one minute and the fizz, it's finished. That's what you're getting. One minute of fizz. There's nothing particularly interesting about this. What I can tell you is that there's some kind of oily thing in here. Can you guys see the sheen? This is not glitter. I don't know what they used in there. Next one is sour melon. It smells like nothing really interesting. All right, one minute later and no more fizz. And as you can see, we got an even thicker coat of some kind of oily residue. Does it feel oily? And the answer is, so it has a little bit of an oily texture to it, which is kind of weird and kind of gross. So it could be dangerous if the residue is left at the bottom of your tub. So I used the two purple ones and the water did get a little purpley. Now I'm going to use the chocolate pudding and cookie and see what these do to the water. Because I mean, if we're gonna get some kind of color, well, let's see what happens with the not so colorful ones. So here's the chocolate pudding one. It just smells like all the other ones. Honestly, they just all start smelling the same. Can you guys see oil stains? There's one right here and one down here. Do you see this? Right here. You, you can tell right away that there's the oily film coming up because every kid's dream is to bathe in sewage water. <laughs> Time for cookie, which doesn't even smell like vanilla. It has like this synthetic nauseating type of smell. So let's throw that in to make the water a little more greasy and gross. <laughs> Time to find out. Is this kit? Mm, you, you know what I'm gonna say. Worth it. If you're new to the salt shaker family, each and every one of us is an important grain, so I do call you guys grains. We're going to start with the cons, and then I'm going to explain what happens after the cons. Usually there are pros, but, um... The first con, the title of this kit is deceptive. It says activity kit. That is not what you're getting at all. Not only is it deceptive online, but it's also deceptive on the box where it says playtime is epic. There's no playability in this box. Another way that it's deceptive is that the actual shape of the box is exactly like the slime kit, where it's an actual activity. Expensive. $30 US for 12 very generic bath bombs. Bath bombs that you can find at the dollar store with actual toys on the inside and a lot less lazy packaging. As I kind of already touched on, the fifth con is that there's absolutely nothing in the box to justify calling this playtime. So I don't buy toys to not play with them. Even if you don't trust me as a source of review, just go on Target and you'll see that the actual review is 2.5 on five, which means that the people who bought it felt absolutely terrible about it. The only reason they probably just didn't give it a zero is because, you know, they saw their kid excited because they got a brand name. In addition to the bad review on there, the reviews also mentioned that this gave their kid skin irritation 
to the point where someone actually wrote their kid screamed because they were in pain. Why? You're, you're taking a bath. Do you really want to associate pain and bathing? My eighth con is that this is not a kit. In addition to it not being an activity kit, which I've commented on, it's just not a kit. There's no activity, there's no kit. It's just a box with bath bombs. My ninth con. As you saw, this does nothing interesting to the water other than just put a little bit of coloring. It fizzes out after one minute. I'm going to say it, this is a cash grab. Let's pay attention to the video where he mentions the actual product. He says that it is only available for one month. These are my bath bombs, the Guava Toys bath bombs. You can grab these at Target. That is right, Target. Oh my gosh, Target! They're only in these buckets for one month, so grab it while you still can. Fast forward, it has been two months since he released that video, and it's still very easily available at Target. So is it actually a limited edition thing? So even though the people on the reviews are saying that their kids have had some kind of skin irritation, the box also mentions that it could cause skin irritation and urinary irritation. Why would this have some kind of irritation? Avoid it altogether? Why, why make a product with your name on it in the first place? When it comes to the packaging, it is the laziest packaging I have ever seen on the inside of a bath bomb. Why were they just wrapped in, in clear plastic? At least make people feel like they paid for attention to detail. You've seen it? Greasy water. Even after I emptied the tub, you saw that my water was clear. Once I added the bath bomb, it started getting greasy and there was this weird film right on top. Why is there no ingredients list on the box? Even when I went online on Target, the only ingredients I got, cardboard, paper, sodium, bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate. So even if you have some kind of allergy to something that you're aware of, you're not getting that information online. I claimed that my skin is kind of like dragon skin. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't irritate it. But after staying in the water for about 25 minutes with the bath bomb, I have to admit maybe it's psychological because I read about it first. The bottom of my toes were slightly Burning. I don't know if that's just a placebo effect. The 16th con is after getting out of the water, my feet were kind of a little slippery. I had my camera with me. I'm like, oh man, if I drop my camera, I'm going to be very annoyed. So I was actually pretty scared to slip. Oh, I slipped! This is, I will call it, a scam because it is targeting a specific audience that are children. It's not a quality product. It's not an actual activity kit. It's not a DIY kit. It's not playtime. It's nothing special. It could irritate their skin. The only thing that this kit has going for it is a brand name associated with a YouTuber whose audience are children. Not okay taking advantage of people's hard earned cash. And because these are kids who are impressionable and ask their parents who work long hours to buy this for $30 US and get nothing other than just bath bombs is, 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 is infuriating. This is not something that should be marketed to kids. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your older, whatever. Tell them to drive you to Target, grab one of these, seriously. This is very, 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 very one of a kind. So get it while you still can. As salty as I can be, I really like being fair and giving pros. But in this case, I refuse to list any kind of pro because I don't think it's worth it. I don't think you should get this. If you want to, by all means, who am I to stop you? I have given kits zero on 10 dorks, but I am saying this right now. This is going to be the lowest score I have ever given anything in 2018. With that said, I give this kit a minus 10 dorks. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your resources. So salty right now. <laughs> All right, that, that was so much salt for one video. I think we need to, to end this with a sweet note. Say hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to watch a salty video, make sure you click up here. And if you want to watch a crafting video, make sure you click right underneath. I'm, I'm having so much hard time. Angel, help me.